For people who accessed CERB based on their gross income instead of their net income, as long as you meet the other eligibility criteria, you will not have to return those CERB payments. Relief for hundreds of thousands of self-employed Canadians who were facing the possibility of paying back CERB payments after a government mistake. Late last year, 441,000 Canadians received letters warning they may have to repay up to $14,000 in CERB payments. The confusion after a mix-up on eligibility. The government initially asking Canadians for their gross income rather than net. A mistake revenue agency employees quickly pointed out. The information provided to our members, the call centre agents, that uh, gave the information to the taxpayers was not you know, that was wrong, actually. The misinformation was shared for three weeks before it was fixed. Briere believes it was an honest mistake and thinks the urgency of the pandemic led to the problem. Well, normally, government programs take a long time to be put in place. So it's vetted, you know, so many times by so many levels. Uh, so normally, this doesn't happen. The government also announcing that anyone who may have already voluntarily repaid the money will get it back. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.